easy for me. So uh, I just uh, want to start with uh, with my workshop. I, I'm here uh, to share my workshop with you uh, today. I hope you will like it. And the name of my workshop is dealing with the epidemic karma. And before we start, uh, a little bit about me. Uh, I'm a, a mother of two kids. Uh, one is uh, 13, one is uh, seven. And one is in the first grade, one is in the eighth grade. So uh, everybody is homeschooling and we are working from home. So you can imagine since one year, what is <laughs> going on in our house, just imagine, but with gratitude to their presence. Uh, and what I do in life, my passion is uh, to witness people's shift uh, in a positive way, of course, uh, in their life. And uh, I have some instruments to ease their work. Uh, one of them is coaching, one of them is training, one of them is in a team, one of them is in organizational development. And uh, this is how I met with points of view uh, on my journey. Uh, as facilitators, you have to be in uh, inner research and search for the methods. And this is how I met with points of view. In the first day, you heard the story. The first uh, TCP in Poland, I was the first participant <laughs> in the first TCP. And uh, it was uh, an amazing experience. And it's really points of view journey. I came to learn a method, to learn about the tools, as all we, we all did. But I got a philosophy and a movement in life. This is how, how I, uh, I became volunteer, in a way, to implement this culture in my country, too, as a country leader of Turkey. My tribe is here. I'm sending my hugs to them. Thank you for your support, and th thank you for being here. Uh, they shifted a little bit. <laughs> for the branding, it's not nice, but still. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Really, you're in my heart always. And uh, this is how I became also a master of points of view because I wanted to be in every part of it, in every uh, piece of it. This is uh, my life, my third child. This is what I call points of view in a way. So here uh, today, my colleague, uh, my helper, my, not my helper, but my friend, <laughs> my sister, uh, from the other side of the world, Vanessa is going to help uh, me during our journey. Uh, I think you need to hear her voice also here uh, in this room. You have to know her. Uh, Vanessa, a few words about yourself. Yeah, thank you, Mayelush. <laughs> Hi, I'm Vanessa. I'm here from Peru, Pachamama, Mother Earth. I'm so honored to be here with you, my friend, my sister, and all this beautiful drive around the world. I am just can't wait to, to start. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for being here. And also we have our translators that you already know. Thank you so much for uh, making this uh, sharing uh, together with our tribe and sharing the emotions. You are helping us uh, by interpreting uh, what is going on here. And thank you for all the work, your efforts. Uh, HQ and of course Efrat and Yaron, I'm not mentioning that, for making it happen again, another dream. Thank you so much. Uh, and uh, after these thanks, let's come to the, our point, uh, to the point, as usual. Well, my workshop is about dealing with the karma and before we start, I want to share the story behind it. Because it started with a simple question. Uh, and my inspiration uh, person is my neighbor. Her name is uh, Nargis, and we have been living in the same apartment for 15 years. And she's, let me uh, describe her a little bit. Uh, she's a fluffy lady, about 75 years old at the moment. And she's old and she's very talkative. And whenever she comes by you while you're going out or coming in, she stops you and she's asking about the kids, ask about life, talk about politics, and she's not leaving you. You know those kind of ladies. And sometimes, um, not to be mean, but you're avoiding her in a way if you don't have time, if you're running somewhere. But she's very nice and she's always, always smiling. I have never seen her with a, you know, a bad face before uh, till last March when we had the COVID knocking on our door and we, were the, we have the first lockdown, she changed 180 degrees. 
She was avoiding us on the doorway. She wasn't smiling at all. And as if we are the virus itself, she's really ignoring us and she's looking at us as we are the virus, walking viruses in the doorway. And it's so interesting. I said, how come Madame Nargis has changed this much? What happened to her? And then I focused on myself. I, ha I really adopted different behaviors as well. Like I was, before I wasn't doing it, even I was a messy person, <laughs> but I was bleaching everything I buy from the supermarket. I was coming to the balcony, washing everything and putting in the cupboard, in the refrigerator when it's clean. And I did this till I had scars in my hands because of the bleach and the detergent uh, I'm using. <laughs> And for example, my husband also, he changed completely. Uh, he was, you know those, uh, maybe you saw in the news, we saw in the news, the people who uh, were stocking uh, the supermarkets, you know those, emptying the stocks of the supermarkets. One of them is my husband. He thinks that we are going to be, we are only locked down on uh, Wednesday, uh, week, weekends, but he was stocking everything. Everything has a pair. I said, you're crazy. like. Only two days, <laughs> nothing will happen to us. Especially toilet papers, it was so interesting. If we don't have, let's say, 72 toilet papers, three packages, he is not uh, ready for the lockdown. <laughs> so he has to buy the extra uh, thing and come back home. Otherwise, it's not working. And also, this was the other side of the coin. I had some friends that were skeptical before. They refused to wear, wear masks. It was so interesting. They were protesting the masks. And some of them, they were making conspiracy theories that big states are making it to sell medicines, drugs, you know. Lots of, lots of different things. Then I kind of came with a question. Why are we acting differently? Who taught us how to behave? Who teach us? Because we didn't have such an experience. We are living a historical moment. And we didn't have such an experience before. And how do we know how to react at this point differently? What determines our behaviors? And this, is, this was the point that I start digging and this workshop came up. And let me share my screen with you first. Okay. Uh, okay, I think. Okay, can you see what I see? The presentation? Perfect. So, this was the behavior cycle that we were living in. Well, this was, there was, there's an input. This happens all the time. In this case, it's COVID-19 that knocked on our door. And we had a feeling that comes from out of nowhere. It can be anything. And then, we had the data, I will talk about it. We had the data from our brain, like the filters uh, that we already have. And then we make this data, we take one of it or uh, three or four of it, and then we made a reaction afterwards. What is this data that determines our different behaviors? It can be the environment we are living. It can be the experience we already had in the past. It can be that our parents teach us something that our parents already taught us. And it can be our physical quality, qualities, our gender, our weight, our age, physical qualities, genetics, what we bring genetically. And here, in the last minute, I, uh, when I dig about it and what the workshop is about is a culture and which brought us to epigenetics. Epigenetics is a new word for me, so I put the uh, description of it. Epigenetics is a study of how genetic expressions and behaviors can be inherited like DNA. What I'm saying is many of the feelings and many of the behaviors you think unique to you can be rooted in the past, past experiences, past ideas from the collective uh, knowledge you can bring. This is what epigenetics is about. I will uh, share the whole screen. 
Uh, by the way, uh, now it's okay? Uh, by the way, I don't read chat. I can miss it. So you can unmute yourself and ask me. It will be better. Okay. So which brought us to where? To our science class in the primary school. This is how our DNA is, is born, right? There is this DNA from mother's egg cell. We have a DNA from father's sperm cell. And when they combine, us, our DNA is formed. But it's not only your eye color or your hair type. You're bringing from your parents. It's also your behaviors and their experiences you're transferring through DNA as information. This is what we are going to deal, it, deal with today. We are going to work on it today. So uh, what, for example, I love uh, our ancestors and I love the proverbs, sayings, and cult other cultures too. In my culture, we have a saying that defines epigenetics very easily. Grandpa stole lemons, Therefore, grandson's teeth dazzled. I don't know if you have a proverb like this. The karma of the grandfather can affect you in a way. Can you repeat it, please? Grandma, it's written already in the, in the, underneath the, grandpa stole lemons and therefore grandson's teeth dazzled. Actually from the Old Testament. Uh, you can write on chat. I would love to hear because I know that I'm, I'm sure that there is some sayings like this in your own culture as well. In the Old Testament, oh. it says the grand, uh, the parents or the grandparents ate unripe fruits and the teeth of the grandchildren are the ones who are damaged. Exactly. This is what I'm talking about. This is what we are going to deal with today. This is the definition of epigenetics that I'm talking about. So what happens? Our ancestors lived something, then it transferred to our grandparents, then to our parents, then to us. And when I say ancestors, this is a new word that I learned. So I put the definition, maybe there are people uh, like me. Ancestor means forefathers, grandparents of the grandparents of the, some relatives from the past. Maybe you don't know even him or her, but it's your, at the end of the day, it's your family member. And what, why it is important right now? It is important because in the past, there is this epidemic experience that one of your ancestors has faced. This is an input that he got. And what he learned from this experience, he uh, recorded to your DNA. And as we are living this epidemic experience right now, some buttons are pushed. It's activated. This is why we are acting, we start acting differently. And maybe even before the epidemic experience we lived, we had this core belief in our life and we don't know where it has come from. We, don't, we think that it's unique to us. This is what we are going to play with, work on today. Clear? Clear? Perfect. Good. If we are okay with this part, these are the objectives of my workshop. We are going to explore the karma. You know what karma means? We know, we use a lot, but we don't. It's uh, normally the final activity that causes the consequence. Final activity that causes the consequence. You're leaving the consequences of the final activity. So the karma of our ancestor we are going to explore. And then we are going to define our ancestors' belief and how it affects us in our life at the moment. And then we are going to transform this karma and influence the future. I know it sounds big, but we will do this today. Don't worry, just lean on me and we will fly together. By the way, I'm waiting uh, after each slide so that our interpreters are ready to wrap up. You're okay? Good? Yes, perfect. So let's begin with the pose. And uh, with the pose, I invite you to really uh, be on a timeline, timeline journey. 
Just leave yourself to the music and get ready to meet with your ancestor for the next round. And if you're ready, just leave everything in your hands, relax, and let's pose. Sinti sinti kur na kayariri Mamankuna shamankuna kayariri Sinti sinti corpecito sinti sinti almacita Gracias madre gracias padre Gracias wiracocha Taitainti mamakia Gracias mamakocha Anampacha Pachamama Pacra Chukuna Llévame a tu mundo mágico y sagrado Brinda mi ser purificación, sanación, sabiduría y fortaleza Cúrame lo que tengas que curarme Enséñame lo que tengas que enseñarme Guíame donde tengas que guiarme Tinkina Mancuna Conwa
Tikanwa, a tonta tacuna. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> so, we are going to use faces right now. I, in, I will, in a minute, I will invite you to choose a card from faces. But before you choose this card, uh, I really invite you to be intuitive, intuitive choosing. Uh, I'm not sharing the screen, right? Right now? No. Okay, let me share the screen first. And what, when I say intuitive uh, choosing, in a minute you will, uh, I will invite you to choose an ancestor that lived an epidemic experience in the past. So don't let your logic be on the driver's seat. Just intuitively. Don't choose someone that looks like your grandma. Don't choose someone that you think looks like you or from your color, from your, uh, I don't know, it can be a child, it can be a man, it can be a woman, it doesn't matter. Just intuitively. Probably your ancestor will be blinking, blinking to you when you're choosing. Choose an, an ancestor. Face up? Face up, of course. Face up. Choose your ancestor who experienced an epidemic from faces cards. And for the people who doesn't have faces, you can pick one of these faces. Just choose the one intuitively. And you know when you're choosing intuitively? Where do you know you're choosing intuitively? Uh, choosing intuitively is fast. And no questions. Just you know that this is. Card, please. Sorry. Can you go back to the question card, please? Choose an ancestor who experienced an epidemic in the past. And uh, one is writing on the chat, by the way. The. The questions and the instructions okay if you have taken the photo of your ancestor let's everybody's ready by the way the ancestors are ready let me see your hands or your reactions or perfect great three two one let's go Okay, so when you look at your ancestor, when you look at, look in the eye of the face that you have chosen to be your ancestor, who lived an epidemic in the past, what are you observing in the first glance when you look at this person? was this person? Where was he or she living and with whom during the epidemic? Okay. 
And what was your ancestors' first reaction facing the epidemic? And how did your ancestor feel about it? What was a day look like for your ancestor at the epidemic period? A normal day. And I invite you to write the story of your ancestors. Fly with it. Just write the story of your ancestors. Yes. I can share the screen if you want. Sorry? I can share the, the video. Uh, please, because it's stuck here, so I can okay. do it. It will be great. I will just share the, before you share, I share the, uh, the music. Okay? For the... Thank you, Wanya.
Thank you. Okay, and now look at look in the eye of your ancestor and ask your ancestor what did he learn or she learn from this experience? What did your ancestor learn from this experience? Just look in the eye and wait for the answer. And as you get the answer, note it down to your journals. What did your ancestor learn from this experience? And if you are ready, just think about it, the things that you have written. What did he learn from, uh, your ancestor learned from this experience? And if, if it's a life motto of your ancestor, what would it be? What is your ancestor's? life motto you can share if you want a slight uh, yeah what is your ancestors life motto motto has to be short and you can share on the chat also smile can do miracles wow Help others and trust nature. World still turns around. Yes. Love will guide the way. Life is intelligent. Don't take anything for granted. Life and let live. Life is short. Don't delay. Happiness is not possession. We balance. Life is love. Kaya. Life has cycles. Okay. And who wants to share? Who wants to share his or her voice in the room? Who is your ancestor and what is his life motto or her life motto? Time, this time will pass. Embrace love and justice. Who wants to share? I can share. Andrea, thank you. Can I see your ancestor? Yeah. Ah, perfect. Okay. Uh, she was very perceptive and she felt that something wrong was going to happen. So she um, started collecting fruits and water from the river mm -hmm. and uh, took care very carefully about any um, rush that there, uh, her son and daughters 
or her husband could made in the skin or something she took care of immediately with um, natural plants, with natural medicine. Mm. So uh, the, the motto for me is that uh, and everybody survived, okay? So because they worked together. And the motto for me is that instead of uh, focusing in fears of things that was threatened outside, they uh, focused in being occupied inside the family to do things together and to care one to each other. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And you, if you make a motto out of it. Yeah. Uh -huh. They were more focused inside than outside. Mm -hmm. Focus the on the inside. This is what I got from you. Focus yeah, on the inside that, that, and outside. Whatever is happening, yeah. it's happening. But let's focus inside. Let's focus, focus each other. Let's focus inside. And let's leave everything behind. Out of yeah. the story. Got it. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Good legacy. Uh, anyone else? Yeah, Ron I can share. share. Marta? I can yeah. share. <laughs> Julia, Marta, Marta, Julia. <laughs> <laughs> Marta, first I saw Marta. Okay, hi. Hi, my dear. It's so good to be here. So yeah. this is my ancestor. Yeah. And um, I thought about my, my grandfather. He always talked about the Spanish uh, flu. Yeah. And, uh, and when I, I chose this one, because it really reminds me of his attitude through life, like a positive attitude, a happiness. And really what, um, what for me, it was more, most important, it was the message that um, taking advantage in a good way of the challenges that uh, life are putting uh, in front of you. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and he, he always had this uh, spirit of let's not cry over the dead people, let's celebrate life and celebrate the, with the ones that are here with us. Mm -hmm. So that's it. And so uh, that's, uh, what I got from your ancestor, uh, for what I hear from you is that uh, let's, okay, what is happening is happening, but let's celebrate life. Yes. Is it something like this? Yes, it is, but not in a, not in, in a disrespectful, uh, oh. mm -hmm. disrespectful way, you know? but mm -hmm. in a more positive way in terms of let's see what life is giving us and let's do lemonade with those lemons or do you know to really transform ourselves through the challenges that we are facing okay so let's do lemonades with the lemons we have this is what i have from you yeah definitely yeah. thank you thank okay. you uh, Julia, the ancestor and the motto. This is my ancestor. Yes. And somehow she's Italian. Wow. And her motto is, uh, you are always held. You're always held. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. I hope I wanted to hear everyone's uh, legacy here but we don't have time. <laughs> so let's move forward because we're unfolding the, this legacy and what is happening to us. And let's move to the next stage. Uh, and before we move, uh, I invite you, all of you to close your eyes and please close your eyes. And when you say this motto loud to yourself, for example, for Mar Marta, it's, uh, let's uh, make the lemonade with the lemons we have. Or for Andrea, uh, let's focus inside. Where do you feel this motto in your body? 
Just focus on where do you feel this motto when you say it loud in your body. And how does it feel? Can you name the feeling? Maybe one, maybe two feelings, maybe more. And does it, this feeling have a color? Can you see a color? Or a shape? Maybe liquid, gas, or something solid? And from 1 to 10, how strong do you feel this feeling? 1 is least, 10 is max. How strong? And whatever you got, the information, just note it down and we will come back to that. Perfect. You note it and let's move forward. And what we are going to do, we are going to play with the coaching game cards, only the cards face, uh, of course, not face up, face down. And then choose a card. And if you don't have a uh, coaching game with you, we have uh, options. And can you share the, your screen, Wane? We have options for you. Three options only we have. Three is a sacred number, you know, and we are in a sacred place at the moment. So we are going to choose uh, out of three. Your cards. You shared? No. Sh should I try it again? Because my uh, cursor is, uh, the mouse is locked completely. Uh, but now I think. Um, I shared the, the PPT. Don't worry. Ah, you shared already? Yes. Ah, okay. I cannot see. This is why I tried it. So. Uh, choose one of these cards and then just look at your card. Uh, let's scan the card from left to right, right to left with your eyes. What do you see? Face down, face down. We are, we are in a very face down place, so face down every card. Why do you think Somebody found it worthy to freeze this moment. And what oh. is the story? Yulis, I'm sorry, could you repeat the instruction? I'm not clear. Just choose a coaching game card and just look at the photo. Okay. Mm -hmm. What do you see? And why do you think somebody find it worthy to freeze this moment? And what is the story behind it? Try to see the story like a movie. And if it was a real movie, which part will you playing in it? Or who will you be in it, in the movie? And through the card, when you say you can show the uh, question, how do you live your ancestors' motto in your life and where? Through the card, which part of your life do you live according to this motto of your ancestor and how do you live it? You can take some notes. We will give you some time for it. One, maybe two minutes. Let's take some notes. How do you live your ancestors' motto 
in your life and where, which part of your life. Just take your notes and we will go to the next card. We will pick another coaching game card afterwards. Just take your notes, reminders. Can you please do? Okay. And when you're ready with the notes, just pick another coaching game card. Facing down? Face down. Always face down. In my workshops, always face down. <laughs> Not face up. <laughs> You're like me. Yes? <laughs> okay. So the second card, we have the coaching game card. Just look at the card and right now, let's uh, uh, mix our brain and let's scan the photo from top to toe, from toe to top. Just focus and scan your photo. And what was your focus at the first glance? And now try to see the places out of your focus. What do you see there? And what about the word? Do you like the word? What does it mean to you? And when you think about the opposite of the word or bring a no in front of it, what does it remind you? When was the last time you used this word? Try to remember. And to leave your ancestors motto, what does it cost you? And I will explain. Well, you know, even if it serves you, in a way, if we are living in a duality world, there is the other side of the coin, like the yin and yang. There is always a shadow part. By choosing to act some way, by saying yes to something is saying no to another thing. So what we are looking for here is by acting this way, by living this motto in our life, what does it cost us? What is the other side of the coin that we are missing by experiencing this motto in our life? So find the cost in the card, especially in the photo. And take your notes. Yeah, Liz, I, I have a question. Please. Um, the, my ancestor's motto, it's the other way around. It's more like a learning, not a motto. Uh, it's more of a, it can be it can be a belief. It can be a belief. Perfect. Okay. It has to be a belief. A motto is also rooted from a belief. Okay. It's coming from a belief. Thank you. So, who wants to share the cost you weren't expecting? <laughs> so, who wants to share? Hello, my name is Levana. I can share. Please, Levana. Where are you from? Yeah, um, well, I live in California, but I'm from Israel. Ah. 
Um, and I can tell you, like my ancestors are actually Turkish from both sides of the family. Both of my grandparents came from Turkey to Israel. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Let's see what your uh, ancestors is saying to you. <laughs> yes. So my ancestor motto was be the change, be part of the change. Mm -hmm. And it's an interesting because the coaching games that I got is leadership, which I definitely connect because I, since, uh, since I was a teenager, I was always, always in leadership, a leadership group, always did something with leadership. I'm doing, I'm a manager now. I'm always kind of like leadership position. And then I got the second, the second one about creativity which I'm also, because I know that in order to be the part of the change, you have to be super creative because you lead, people need different ways to be lead, led, right? Mm -hmm. And one style will not fit it all. Um, and people need from you different things in order to follow you. Uh, but the cost is, uh, it's interesting because this picture is not, I don't view this picture as pretty at all. Uh, like, you know, it like the wall, like the bars are rusty and there is even a friction here in the picture. Yeah. And that's how I, I view the cost. I view the cost of some people may not like or will not connect to the style and there will be friction and it will not be pretty. And, and it sometimes it, it, it's kind of like, okay, you, you have to fix things and patch things um, in order to make it work. But you use creativity, always creativity in the process. So what does it cost you? Uh, it costs that some people may, may leave and not be with me anymore because again, they, they will not connect to the leadership styles that I have. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Thank Can you I very much. Can I chair, please? Please, Insaf. Insaf, where are you from? In, uh, Insaf, <laughs> Tunisia. Tunisia? Yeah. Ah, Tunisia. Oh, great. Yeah. Because it's a Turkish word. This is why I asked. Uh, it's from... even Indian work also. Yeah. Okay. Mercy. Is it mercy? Yeah. 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 Okay. Mercy. <laughs> Perfect. Tell me your motto. Uh, the motto is uh, the hardest is the experience, the, the bigger it is or the best it is. I was thinking about it like it's something good. And uh, I see like, Are you like sure? yeah, I was thinking it is good. And like uh, my ancestors lived this uh, pandemic uh, period in love, warmth, more care and all become one. And when I, when I uh, do the meditation, like I feel a, a lot of load in my hands, mm -hmm. big load and heart beating. And I, I couldn't, I couldn't much like, because I like it, so why it is like that? And when I get my card, <laughs> it was worse. <laughs> it was self pity, and what I and and then I under I uh, took the other one, and it is points of view. And what I understand or what I get like an insight is like uh, this uh, motto mm -hmm. charges me a lot and uh, make uh, the self-pity come in my love relationship. Like I make it harder on myself and uh, all the love, warmth, more care and uh, all become one. Mm -hmm. I made of it a big story and I even like see it like this big uh, animal and I'm scared of it. Maybe he's scared of me, maybe we can be friends. So maybe I can choose, easy could be, better or the best choice. Mm -hmm. So maybe you can bring some easiness to your life. So the shadow side is everything is hard. Yeah, I, and I, will, I believe like the heart is, is good. <laughs> okay, perfect. So easy is, is better. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Okay, thank you. You can write on the chat, by the way, uh, your cost, uh, your, well, how does it serve you and what does it cost you? You can write on the chat both sides of the coins okay so if you're ready we can move to the future because why we are doing this by understanding what happened to our ancestors and how they were impacted by it 
you, we can free ourselves from the binds and we can move to the future. You cannot walk to the future looking at your past. But before we go to the past, we need to honor our ancestor. So this is the honoring part that we need to make and we need to leave behind what we have, what we don't, we, what doesn't serve us anymore and then we can move to the future. And if you're ready, leave your everything from your hands. Just close your eyes and relax. And let's honor our ancestors and let's meet face to face with them. Are you ready? If you're ready, just close your eyes, get ready, get comfortable and relax. And start, start relaxing from your feet. Just feel your feet and let them relax. And then your legs, your belly. Feel your belly and release your belly. Release all the muscles in and out. Your chest. Your shoulders. Your arms. And your hands. Feel them and release them. Your neck, your head, and all the muscles in your face. Just relax. And take a deep breath through your nose and exhale from your mouth. From your nose. And exhale from your mouth, slowly. And one more time. Now you can keep on breathing normally and effortlessly. And imagine that you're at a beach with white sands and it's almost getting dark. And start walking at the beach and maybe you can hear the calm sound of the waves coming from the sea. And walk gently at your own pace. And while you're walking, you may feel the warmish sand underneath your feet. Just enjoy the walk. And suddenly, you notice a big screen, not very far away from you. Walk towards the screen. And notice the red armchair waiting for you to sit. Sit on it and get comfortable. And on your left, you will find a remote control. Gently press the play button and watch your ancestors' life on the screen. Just observe, with no judgment, like a movie, watch it. And 
when you're ready, just press the pause button. Stand up and enter the screen. Right in front of your ancestor. Feet to feet, hand to hand, eye to eye. Stand there for a while. And let your eyes talk for a minute. Tell your relative from the past, I received your gift. I appreciate it. I take what I need to take. And to reach my highest probability, I am here to heal my life in all dimensions. So I'm here to leave everything that no longer serves me. And imagine an energy coming out from your hands that symbolizes what you need to return back to its own. Just let the energy flow from your hand to your ancestor's hand. And as soon as this energy finishes, honor your ancestor as the way you wish to honor it. And give yourself some time for it. And before you come back to your own life, I invite you to call a source from the center of the earth that will heal your ancestor's life, that will heal your life and the lives in between. Call the source you need. How do you name it? Is it love? Is it passion? Courage? Trust? Or just the light itself? Let this source refill your whole body till you are fully charged. And when you're ready, step back out of the screen. And I will count from three to one. Three, you are on the armchair. Two, you are at the beach where you started. And one, come back to the room and open your eyes when you're ready. Thank you. Thank you so much. And as 
before we move forward to the future, I need to share with you something, uh, because this is what I feel. Though you cannot change the past, you can change the impact of the past on yourself. And believe it or not, you are an ancestor of someone else in the future. And what my friend, uh, my lovely colleague uh, Vanessa, I'm going to use her words, it is, it's power. It's power. You have the power to influence the future as an ancestor of someone else. So it's time to influence the future. And we can share the screen. Uh, I don't know if you're sharing already, uh, Vanessa. <laughs> uh, just uh, as you see, we have yes. the what cards? Future cards. Future cards, flow cards. And future has more options. We have six cards for you. You can pick one of those six cards, more opportunities in the future. And if you have uh, flow, just from the cards, face down, pick a card and look at your card. And observe your card. You know how to look at a photo, but when you look at it, in the first glance, what are you noticing? Are we picking from flow, flow or from uh, flow? Flow. If you don't have flow, just observe the ones in the screen. You can take a photo of them. We provide it for you. Uh, can you see the screen? Yes. Yes. Perfect. Uh, only I cannot see the screen. <laughs> I think. So uh, from the out of the six cards, which one you choose? I don't know. Just uh, take a photo of the card and ob start observing the card from the flow because flow is fresh, flow is new, flow is for the future, here and now. So just look at your card and observe it. What do you see in it? What is the story behind? And how will you name this photo differently? What name? Face down, always down. <laughs> Maria, always down, my dear. So, how do you name this photo? And when you think about all of this, the question comes up. What will you do different than your ancestor for a different future? What will you do different than your ancestor for a different future? What will you contribute to the future? And where do you see this contribution? In the card. And just observe your photo. If you want, you can take the notes. And if you're ready to share, just unmute yourself and share. Uh, Jelis, hi, this is Adriana from Mexico. Yes. Um, I was telling you that my ancestor, instead of a motto, it was like a like a life lesson, right? And the life lesson for that she gave me, um, she was a teacher. Mm -hmm. She was very devoted to her um, children, the, the children that she taught. And she was very devoted to service the community. So instead of a motto, the, le the, the um, lesson was take care, take care of yourself, hold yourself, look at yourself, don't, don't um, carry the world in your shoulders. Because <laughs> the, the second card, this, this is my ancestor. And it's funny because I had never realized that she, on, she, she lost an, an earring in the process. So it, this, this was the reflection that I got. Look, 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 look to yourself or look yourself, take care of yourself. And then later on, this was the other card, loathe, of course. She, somehow I see in here, she's carrying some kind of a backpack or something. And, and the next one was, was really shocking because it's loathe. 
uh, she's she's carrying the, the world in her shoulders. The third one is gold. She lost the goal of looking at herself. She lost herself in the community. And the 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 picture I chose from Flo is Flo. <laughs> but the funny thing is that in the picture you have two people. So um it's the, the thing that I'm gonna be doing different is sharing the load with somebody. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Big insights. Thank you. I will be happy to share. Please Can I share? Uh, first me, then you. Baruno, is it you? Yes, that's me. Okay, you are going to be the last one to share. Miri, okay, can I hear you? you? <laughs> yes, I hope you can hear me and that you can see. I will hold it close so it won't get distorted with the background. Yeah. So this is the card that I got. That yeah. it is, uh, I cannot move it. Uh, it says comparison mm -hmm. and it's two eggs. Yeah. And uh, it made me think of how a, an egg that we eat is actually the end of life before it even starts, because the egg will not become a, a hen, it will, uh, it dies. And on the other hand, um, proteins are the building blocks of any uh, living creature, that, at least mammals, mm -hmm. and how the end of this life is actually allows to build new life or different life. And I think that this is the, the message that I take for the future, that even when things are broken, uh, it can still build a new life. Mm -hmm. And uh, actually just yesterday I saw again, I've seen it many times, maybe you heard a, a picture of egg that says that when an egg is broken from the outside, mm. it's the end of life. But when the egg is broken from the inside, meaning it's the little uh, chick, then actually life begins. So maybe looking at where do I break the essence of life from? Is it from the from the outside or from the inside? Thank you, thank you, thank you. And Baruno? Yes, uh, my name is Baruno. I'm from Indonesia. Mm -hmm. um, this is my ancestor's card, which I've never met, but I visualized. Um, he was kind of old, wrinkles, big smiles, sharp eyes. Um, this motto back then was be an agent of change. Um, mm -hmm. My second card uh, was um, that um, you are in the present right now. What will you do if you were me? And um, the third card is that being in the playground, being myself. Uh, which um, he referred that if you were alone, you would not achieve anything. You have to be with others because cooperation, be a cooperative, will end with a success. Mm -hmm. And last but not least, this is something interesting to me. The card from the flow it shows a denial, but a future would. Um, lead me to, Bruno, be an honest. If you're an honest person, the world, the uh, galaxy will help you. So accept the reality and move on from there on. Thank you. So your contribution is being honest. Being yourself. honest. Yes. Perfect. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Thank you so much. So uh, before we move to the future, of course, these are intentions and our cells, DNAs are not activated yet. So to activate it, to activate being honest, to activate, to be deciding which uh, side of the egg we are, we, what we need to do is we need to take our first step. What is your first step? I'm not asking the next steps. I'm only asking the first step that you will activate this motto, this new motto that you created for the future. Action. What action will you take in the first place to activate it? Just write your actions. And if you write your actions, just uh, make a reaction. Let's see the activation here. <laughs> whoever 
took the action, wrote the action, just make a reaction. Yes, Andrea, I got your reaction. <laughs> you did it already. <laughs> Perfect. Great. Any reactions? Okay. So what I need you to do, the one last point before we close this workshop, it's the closure part. I need you to close your eyes again. Last time, I promise. And it's not going to take long. Mm -hmm. Last time. Just close your eyes. And remember the first motto of your ancestor. You remember the feeling? Just check that place in your body. What happened to the color? What happened to the feeling? Is there any change in the shape? Or it was six, it became one. It, became, it was one, it became 10. Any change. And if you have any change, just let me know so that this process works or not working for you. Just give me a sign if there is any little change. Perfect. Great. I'm seeing like the like the light, lights lightening up one by one. Great. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you so much. The activation process was your first step. So if you take this first step, the DNA will be activated. So that's it from me. Thank you so much for this process. Thank you, team, and everyone from HQ for supporting me. Uh, all the behind scenes uh, troubles. <laughs> Although, anyways, thank you so much for being here and sharing my workshop. And if uh, you are, of course, going to be here in 15 minutes, you will have my sister, Sezin, with the points of your story from US. She's going to be with you. And in an hour, my master, Shelly, Shelly Case, is going to be there for you. Again, I don't want you to miss it. If you want to harvest your life stories, be there. I will be there. Uh, and I'm going kissing you. Thank you. We only, we only, I think we have six minutes. Uh, if anybody wants to share any PS, it's, uh, we can use this time for this. Six minutes. Love, love, love. Love, love, love. Any, wow. Anything else? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Beautiful meditation. I really enjoying in, in encounter the ancestors. Thank you, Elise. Love you. Enjoy the meditation. Thank you so much. Well, you can share the part that you enjoyed. <laughs> so wonderful. Thank you to Elise. If we could harvest Elise again with our hearts, because Elise doesn't need to see her screen because she feels our love and she penetrates to our hearts straight and to the point. So let's give more hearts uh, to Yelise. I'm not asking a lot, please. Yeah. Uh, Yelise, could <laughs> you, you so much. thank your neighbor for your inspiration? Exactly. Yeah. Sorry? Thank Sorry. your neighbor for the, for the inspiration. inspiration. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bring thank her a basket sharing. of flowers. To share. <laughs> and tell her thank you so much. And what, we hope you're enjoying it. Remember, if you're enjoying it, post something in social media or Facebook or Insta Instagram, wherever you like, tag your list, tag points of view and whoever else you like. Now we're gonna take a short break, just a little break in case you need to wrap up something with your ancestors or you just want more <laughs> wine or coffee. I don't know, you can drink, eat, maybe ice cream. Sometimes ice cream is the answer. Anyway, exactly. Chocolate in winter. Chocolate is the best because chocolate always answers, uh, chocolate always listens and never answers back. Chocolate <laughs> is the best friend. In any case, enjoy the break. And as Elise said, in 15 minutes, we are starting with Sazine's life story. You have to be there. And in an hour, it's time to harvest the stories with Shelly from Canada. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Maybe. Arts and see you, you in the next. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye. Amazing. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Thank, you. Thank, you so Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Esther, it's a beautiful experience. Yeah. Thank you so much, Miri, for sharing. Thank you so much. Thank you for inspiring me. They, I, the, my process was beautiful. It started very dark and it became very light. So thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for sharing. I like the egg. <laughs> thank you. It, it surprised me. In the beginning, I wasn't inspired and suddenly it all came. Yeah. Thank you very much. See you in the next workshop. See you in the next workshop. Thank you so much. Mm. My tribe, thank you so much, by the way. <laughs> yeah, we are staying here, Elise. Thank you so much. We are here. Only we are yeah, here. Make euros. We want the photo with this we superstar. Want a group. Okay, photo. <laughs> we are Turkish tribe, yeah. <laughs> Hit me or else. I'm not going. Hit me or else. Oh, you are oh, oh, me me our hearts. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Hearts, hearts, hearts. <laughs> Let's take a photo. Thank you so much, Maria. Thank you, Cecilia, uh, Victoria, Topa, Vane. I mean, it was great. Thank you so much. I thank hope I didn't uh, kill you. <laughs> Was Victoria, amazing. was it okay? Amazing. Great, okay. It was so great. It was amazing. Thank you, Yelis. It was amazing. Yes. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> I will see you in the next okay, session. Let's take a photo uh, with the track. Uh, Wait, I'll stop sharing thank the screen so I have more room. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> a memory for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, I will send. I will send to the group, to both groups. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Can I ask something? Okay. It is inspires me. Group, are we here? <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, they are so funny. <laughs> Where the idea came from? <laughs> <I'm laughs> we, so, we, we have many secret groups. Uh, we have many secret groups. <laughs> I saw Zainab. I said, Zainab, come on. I mean, I know Zainab. <laughs> I said, wow, Zainab went to some place. And then I saw the others. <laughs> Yelis, sorry, can I ask you something? I Please. love these wings that says Yelis inspires me. Where can I find those? <laughs> I will send to to the tribe. Okay, okay, thank you. <laughs> it is illegal. <laughs> now we need to illegal. open a Yelis fan club now. And, yes. and we want to join. <laughs> it's not, it's not no, but it's my it. favorite colors also, purple and green. Yeah. I, I love them. Yeah, thank you, Sophia, for coming. Mm -hmm. My crews, thank you so much. And thank you. We cannot leave this place. Uh, yes. <laughs> I will leave and you will come I will, I will, I will have to shut you down. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> thank you. Oh. Me too. Thank you. It was you a beautiful experience. Thank, thank you so much. Thank, Bye. You. Bye. thank you, everyone. Bye. Bye.